so when I was in Iraq, I was uh, dealing with a lot of the stuff that I saw there, and it was journaling, and that became a book. And that's how Reflection of Generosity started, because we had 32 pieces there, and as we've done art therapy workshops and writing workshops at each base we visited over the last seven years, we've then gathered a collection of artwork, which has then become over 200 pieces from more than seven different countries. But over 50% of the artwork is by veterans, uh, active duty service members and their families. And that's where the way I want to keep it. So you got this piece here called Isolation. Uh, when I was in the military, my first sergeant asked me to do NCO training. So what I did is I brought all my soldiers into a room with artwork. And this painting in particular uh, got a soldier talking and she said, that's me. And I asked her, I said, do you want to see a psychologist or go to a, um, a chaplain? She said, no, I don't want to be a broken soldier. And so I went uh, and talked to the first line uh, supervisor, first sergeant commander, and over a two month period they started encouraging her, giving the support she needed. So through art we were able to find out what was wrong with her. It wasn't really a problem, but figure out how to help her. And now she became more productive than her peers and she was smiling again and she was back to being healthy as a soldier. Really what ROG is about, like I could sell all of these paintings, but if I'm able to save one soldier's life, to get them to think, think about being productive, to have a goal, a purpose, that is more valuable than anything I could ever sell.